wise once said, Greetings, fellow digital age stoics. You've discovered a precious gem, and I'm not talking about the latest viral video or meme. If you've ever experienced the frustration of scrolling through social media, feeling the weight of today's world, questioning your ability to let go, or simply desiring to worry less about every little detail, then you've come to the perfect spot. Well before our contemporary dilemmas, there existed a group of insightful individuals referred to as the Stoics. They structured their lives around principles that, somewhat surprisingly, hold the potential to instruct us in the art of not being overly concerned. It's quite intriguing how age-old wisdom can provide guidance in our era of smartphones and caffeine-driven living. In the moments ahead, you'll be introduced to 10 straightforward yet profoundly transformative Stoic principles. These principles offer a breath of fresh air that might just serve as an antidote to the chaos of 21st century life. And if you'd like to be the first to uncover more pearls of wisdom like these, don't hesitate to click that notification bell and subscribe. What's the worst that could happen? You'll gain some valuable insights. I encourage you, even challenge you to take that step. Welcome to the illuminating world of Stoicism, where tradition harmonizes with the contemporary and where we receive an education in the art of maintaining composure and resilience. Shall we commence? Lesson 1. Take control of what's within, let go of what's beyond. Imagine this. It's a snowy Saturday morning. You've just made the perfect cup of cocoa, and as you're about to sip it, your cat knocks it over. The old you might have gotten angry, blamed the cat, or even cursed the universe for conspiring against you. However, here's a stoic thought to ponder. We suffer more in imagination than in reality. As the legendary Seneca said, the truth is things happen. Cocoa spills, cats misbehave. What's within our control is our reactions. Instead of letting our imagination paint a gloomy day ahead, we can choose to laugh it off and make another cup. The world will keep throwing curveballs, but the power of our reactions is all ours. So the next time your Wi-Fi acts up during a crucial Skype call or your DoorDash arrives cold, Take a deep breath. It's not the cold takeout that disturbs us, but our interpretation of it. Lesson 2. Embrace the present moment. Marcus Aurelius once mused, Do not let the future disturb you, for you will arrive there if you nurture your present. In the 21st century, we find ourselves inundated with notifications every passing second, and our thoughts race ahead even faster than our internet connections. Yet what often eludes us is the here and now. Remember those occasions when you strolled in the park, but your mind was preoccupied with tomorrow's obligations? Or those family gatherings where your thoughts wandered to past regrets? The Stoics remind us that the present day, this very moment, is a precious gift. So why waste it on fretting about the past or the future? Being fully present involves more than mere attentiveness. It's about wholeheartedly immersing yourself in life, savoring your meals, truly listening to your friends and relishing the sensation of the wind on your face. Let go of yesterday's regrets and tomorrow's worries. Within the intricate tapestry of existence, it's the collection of these small moments that defines our sense of contentment. Lesson three, accept change as nature's course. Have you ever observed the seamless transition of seasons? Winter's frost yields to the blossoms of spring effortlessly. However, when confronted with life's changes, whether it's a career shift, a breakup, or a relocation, we often find ourselves resisting. As Epictetus wisely expressed, it's not what happens to you, but how you react to it that matters. Life is inherently mutable, flowing like the waters of the River Thames. Struggling against the current proves wearisome, while embracing change offers liberation. Life's essence lies in its continuous evolution. Just as Rome wasn't constructed in a single day, your life is an ongoing masterpiece. Each transformation, every twist and turn, contributes a distinct brushstroke to your canvas. So, when you encounter an unexpected deviation, remember that it's an integral element of life's grand design. Lesson four, detach from external validation. In our contemporary world, we've developed a dependence on external validation through every like, share, 
and comment. However, reflect on this wisdom imparted by Epictetus. Man is not worried by real problems so much as by his imagined anxieties about real problems. Isn't it peculiar how we allow small icons on a screen to influence our emotional state? Stoicism encourages us to seek validation from within ourselves. Our self-worth shouldn't be quantified by our online popularity, but by our personal values, actions, and character. The next time your online post doesn't receive the expected attention, or someone shares a disparaging comment in your direct messages, remember that your value is not subject to public judgment. You serve as your own judge and jury. Lesson 5. Recognize life's natural cycles. Loss carries with it a sense of pain, whether it pertains to a beloved sweater, a cherished memory, or a dear person. However, in the words of Marcus Aurelius, loss is nothing else but change, and change is nature's delight. In the expansive ecosystem of existence, everything has its appointed time. Trees shed their leaves only to usher in new growth. Likewise, life presents us with conclusions and fresh beginnings, with each experience serving as a teacher and a sculptor of our character. Instead of clenching tightly to what once was, Stoicism encourages us to embrace the impermanence of life. It's an invitation to live life to the fullest, to love deeply, and to release with grace. After all, every sunset paves the way for a new sunrise. Lesson 6. Seek growth in adversity. Who among us hasn't encountered a challenge? It could be a demanding boss, an ever-growing stack of bills, or a chronically tardy subway system. It's a natural inclination to grumble and wish life were a touch more lenient. Yet, as Seneca wisely asserted, difficulties strengthen the mind as labor does the body. Picture these challenges as personalized workout sessions for your soul. When obstacles arise, Instead of inquiring, why is this happening to me? Consider, what might this experience be teaching me? Each adversity bears a valuable lesson and the potential for personal growth. It's all about one's perspective. If the Stoics were present today, they'd likely declare, bring it on. Lesson seven, cultivate inner riches. In a time when opulent Instagram feeds and the relentless showcase of wealth are prevalent, it's simple to associate happiness with material possessions. Nevertheless, as Seneca wisely noted, it's not the man who has too little but the man who craves more that is poor. Genuine wealth transcends the realm of the latest gadgets and designer labels. It resides in the contentment of one's soul, the abundance of life experiences, and the treasure trove of cherished memories. The Stoics serve as a reminder that while it's perfectly fine to appreciate life's luxuries, we must not become enslaved by them. In the end, it is the narratives we have woven, not the material possessions we have amassed, that hold true significance. Lesson 8. Understand and accept fate. I'm not advocating for blind acceptance of everything, but as Epictetus wisely conveyed, don't demand that things happen as you wish, but wish that they happen as they do happen. Life, with its multitude of intricacies, results from a fusion of our endeavors and the patterns of the universe. Occasionally, despite our earnest attempts, the outcome may not align with our preferences. However, instead of becoming mired in disappointment due to unforeseen deviations, Stoicism encourages us to welcome the circumstances at hand. After all, the most captivating narratives frequently emerge from the most unforeseen twists of fate. Lesson 9. Be of service to others. Our world is teeming with opportunities to create a positive impact. Seneca's reminder, we are all bound together in a partnership, serves as a testament to this fact. Stoicism extends beyond personal enlightenment. It's about elevating the community. By assisting others, we not only enhance their lives, but also infuse purpose into our own. Whether it involves lending a hand to a neighbor, engaging in volunteer work, or merely offering support to a friend, every act of kindness resonates throughout the universe. Keep in mind that it's not solely about individual prosperity, but also about uplifting others along the journey. Lesson 10. 
reflect, review, and realign. In the midst of life's constant busyness, we are rarely granted moments of respite. Nevertheless, as Marcus Aurelius pointed out, the happiness of your life depends upon the quality of your thoughts. Engaging in regular introspection is akin to gazing into the mirror of our souls. Taking time to reflect enables us to recognize our recurrent behaviors, reorient our trajectories, and renew our outlooks. Consider it as a routine system upgrade for your life. Reflect on your actions, draw lessons from your mistakes, and take joy in small victories. By comprehending oneself, we lay the foundation for genuine contentment and serenity. These ten principles are not intended to promote emotional detachment or indifference. Instead, they are aimed at nurturing resilience, embracing the present, and living a life filled with purpose and profound meaning. As we conclude this enlightening voyage through the venerable traditions of Stoicism, I can't help but contemplate how seamlessly these age-old principles integrate into our bustling contemporary lives. This serves as a testament to the enduring nature of certain truths. Now, I have a delightful little challenge in store for all of you. In the comment section below, I'd greatly appreciate it if you could share which of these stoic insights resonated with you the most. Did Seneca's words strike a chord with you? Or did Marcus Aurelius come across as your newfound friend? Let's kickstart this dialogue so that we may mutually enrich our understanding. However, before you enthusiastically embrace the world, armed with this fresh stoic wisdom, I have a modest favor to ask. If you've discovered even a small measure of value today, a hint of enlightenment, or simply relished our time together, kindly contemplate subscribing, providing this video with a generous thumbs up, and activating that notification bell. This request isn't driven by a desire for superficial metrics, but rather to facilitate the ongoing exchange of wisdom and personal growth. Life is a journey filled with trials and unforeseen moments, yet with the right mindset and a touch of stoic wisdom, it can transform into a remarkably delightful adventure. Let's raise a toast to becoming adept at the art of releasing attachments and leading a life filled with purpose and enthusiasm. Until our next online encounter, keep the flame of curiosity ablaze and maintain the essence of stoicism. Until next time.